four lads embark on a two-week round road trip from Manchester to Exit Festival in Serbia. They were trying to investigate music culture across Europe, but quickly discovered that just getting to Exit Festival would be hard enough. I was literally thinking, as long as we all make it back in one piece, I don't have to ring anyone's mum or dad, everything's grand. Finally all made it to a spaceship depot. I'll sort myself out. Just for the record, we won't get away with any of this caper on Serbian borders or Croatian or all like that yeah. filming. Oh, no, it's no. one thing that I look on the internet. They were like, no, don't point cameras at anybody on borders. And don't, <laughs> the borders. Oh, at the borders? Yeah, don't, in, don't uh, be pointing at anything. We'll get into Eastern Europe and stuff. I remember when this dude stepped out of line when he was in Serbia and this dude just fucking pistol whipped him. It's amazing. What? <laughs> it was, it was well funny. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no one will get shot in the leg. <laughs> That would be great catching that on camera though. It will be good. I like expecting for the road trip that's a, that's a difficult one um, we've never done anything like this so I was hoping for just as much music as possible really and um, just a good trip free of any incidents yeah. we're yeah. oh, we're going the right way. everyone else has turned left when they came out of there we really? That way. really yeah well no cars behind us they've all gone that way I don't know whether that means oh, we've got any kind of sat map going on do you remember the, uh, the sat nav, the worries of the sat nav? <laughs> yeah, getting onto the continent and then just realising that we didn't have any of the maps, so we kind of had to go by cities only. So it's like Berlin, Amsterdam, that way. Despite the faulty sat nav, the group made it to Bruges, but it was late into the night. So the lads went to bed and in the morning had a look around the city centre. <laughs> We're in Bruges, Bruges Market to be exact. We arrived yesterday at 11.30. It was a great time. And now we're uh, in the mix, really, in the mixer. Hopefully getting some food and then we'll be off to Berlin. But it's a shame, really. We really would have liked to explore this place a lot more. But needs must, I guess, needs must. It was a beautiful sat nav, Danny. The intense detail it's got on there. Yeah. Too much detail. At the moment we're driving through a. Uh, you see that's a field, Danny? According to the sat nav. Yeah. Let's just see what it looks like to real people. Looks pretty urban to myself. I don't know about you guys. Yeah, it's pretty urban. Yeah, it looks very fieldy in the sat nav. Say technology's dead. Put it on here or what? I reckon turn left. Well, in net the next stop, uh, junk turn left because there's that big main road, isn't there, to the left of us, which might be a bit easier than driving down these roads with all the traffic lights. Go in the right direction. So let's just stay this way.
All right, so lads, we've uh, we're in Berlin now. We're in Berlin. Yeah. Yeah. Just, 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 just tell me, what, tell me what you're thinking. Tell me oh, what, thinking. what you're feeling. I'm still fucking trembling from one-way systems, fucking right away, all near head-ons, <sighs> no lights, no yeah. cat's eyes, nothing. It's motorways, just yeah. Anyway, so I'm like, still. <laughs> yeah. As as a non-driver, I I was literally like, my head's all over the place. I'm literally just feel a bit, you know. Pent up. I just need. I just need something now. I need a beer. Yeah, I need, yeah. I need, I need a, a beer. beer. And some I music would be really nice. And, and I... Just, it was weird. It was weird. Like a Turkish working man's club. They had a bit of music though. They did have a bit of music. The lighting though was a bit dingy, a bit seedy. It looked, <laughs> it looked a bit, um, looked a bit naughty to be honest. And um, they had a bit of, um, bit, of, bit of Turkish um, folk music going on, which wasn't too bad. A bit cheesy in places, but that's what we're about, isn't it? You know, checking out what sort of a musical expression people have. So we checked that out. With the lads deciding this wasn't their scene, they made a hasty exit. They took to the streets, asking the locals about the music hotspots. We ended up getting a train, there was only a few stops, and uh, then we ended up in this like, it was kind of like, it was like an old army barracks. Like all the, uh, all the places there were just slightly off the ground. Even the structures looked like um, they'd seen a bit of action, to be honest. Ended up in this underground um, rave, which was pretty cool. And uh, however, they wanted 30 euros, 30 euros for us to go in. 30 euros. That's like, you know, that's a that's 120, 120, 120 euros altogether. So we all decided that uh, we weren't going to pay. <laughs> so <laughs> I decided to have a quick chat with uh, the manager and. Uh, the person who was putting it on and saying that we are from England and we wanted to uh, take a few shots and this will look great when we go back to England and um, we were able to, um, what can I say, coax him into letting us all in for free. So that was grand and we got a few uh, free drinks out of it as well so another gruesome bonus. <laughs> So yeah, that was a great night, great music, great DJs, great people. Yeah, now we're on the way to Zagreb. We're just going past Potsdam, or going towards Potsdam. We're going to try and stay in Germany so we can go on the motorways nice and fast, rather than going through Czech Republic. And um, yeah. Next 10 hours is just going to be non stop driving, and hopefully, we'll be in Zagreb before yeah, the lights turn off. Yeah, we didn't get that, so we ended up in some small town on the outskirts in Austria, just near the border, looking for the internet on a Sunday night, and it quickly became apparent that we'd be lucky to see a person let alone an internet cafe. It was yourself, Asim, who had the uh, good sense to just start, um, <laughs> to just start talking to some, uh, to some passers by who I'd like to add were on their anniversary. And they invited us back to their house, which is very kind of them. They let us like get on the internet, he gave us a glass of wine, a bowl of uh, confectionery out on the table, and it was brilliant. The hostel is very small, yeah? Yeah. We yeah. have nine districts. Yeah? One of them is Styria. This is called Styria. Yeah? Okay, all right. The green heart of Austria, it's called. <laughs> my 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 my. Nice. But yeah, it was, it was a great trip, like, into Austria and just so glad that uh, we met someone who could save us and treated us so well. It was unbelievable. The Now 
making our way down to Croatia from Austria. And we're going to be going through Slovenia. Um, we've literally done the whole stretch down from Berlin so far, and yeah, it's been good. It's been a really interesting experience. Haven't had any problems at all so far. Touch wood. With the car not being insured in Serbia, the group decided to make the final steps via public transport. Once in Zagreb, they were on the hunt for the train station and a car park. So Ben, where are we? It's a crab. It's a crab. Uh, yeah. Could you uh, pinpoint that for down oh, to it? I'll try to find the train station and I'm just trying to bear off which work on side of this that we're on. And if we get to the train station and get some parking, we can get the train to Belgrade. What are you looking for, Azim? How have you felt it's gone so far? Yeah, it's been good. Like today, it's just been a long day. Looking forward to a uh, to Panchevo and getting a free hotel room and getting a shower. Looking forward to a shower. Oh yeah. Change your clothes as well. I've been in the same set of clothes since Thursday. And it's now <laughs> Sunday. It's one time. It's starting to. Uh... I haven't taken my shoes off since Thursday. <laughs> I'd like to take my shoes off, I think I've heard that. Mate, I think there's going to be some severe trench foot down there. Yeah. Most definitely. I can't feel them. They don't <laughs> exist anymore. Any of your thoughts on what was going through your head at that time? I was just thinking, I can't believe we've made it. You know, <laughs> I was thinking, we've made it this far, so we've got to, there's got to be something in the stars which is saying that we're going to make it all the way. Beautiful Panchevo. It's a beautiful city. I call it a city. They'd probably call it a city, but other people who didn't go there would probably say it's a little town. But I, I loved it. It was um, the people were great. They've got such passion, such a zest, such pride in their own selves, and um, it was it was great. Their art was great. We went to this artistic uh, exhibition, which was great. All right, so we're here with. Uh, Vladimir and Marco, um, both from Pancho, right? And um, we're in an fa absolutely fantastic exhibition space. Um, I just wanted to talk to you guys about first the exhibition itself and the building and its kind of history and and uh, what's you know what what more kind of things are going on like this in Serbia. Um, just want to tell us uh, what's the name of this place? Uh, Hotel Sloboda, Hotel Freedom. Okay. Oh, thank you. Wow. Good so, name. Yeah, very good name. Cool. And, uh, and this exhibition, what's, uh, what's, who, are the, who are the artists involved with this exhibition? Uh, well, uh, when uh, Marco started this project of organizing events in this hotel, uh, he contacted us. So we are from Electrica Gallery from Panchovo. And the uh, first content that we could offer was actually this uh, exhibition. It's, uh, I can name the, all of them. Uh, all wow. these uh, works are done by... <laughs> by uh, uh, Boris Stanić, uh, Vuk Palibrk, uh, Bipede, Bison Juksel, uh, Raquel Aparicio, uh, Jorge Paras and uh, Vilendina Vand. Jai is cool also, well there is maybe a few more people, yeah, <laughs> I can't yeah. remember all of them right now. And it was just uh, the topic of the workshop was mutants. Yeah. I mean this isn't a comment on the, the state of society, this is just uh, okay, so that building, building's empty, we have an exhibition which is big, so the gallery could be a bit bigger. Yeah. Maybe we could get it for like a few months. And yeah. Yeah. Nice. yeah. And then when we got into the night, we went to uh, another structure which was pretty uh, pretty cool. We watched a few, uh, few local, like, a few local um, short films, which was pretty, uh, all of them, well, both of them were, like top end films, they the quality was great, the storyline was great, and uh, and you could tell that they really um, they really have a lot of talent, which they're just trying to seep through the cracks. Like, um, in their open mic for music was really good. You know, I nearly got giddy and tried to go up there, but I would have embarrassed myself. So uh, <laughs> I uh, kept to the shadows, 
and took my notes. I smoke split from repeat the jokes. And the same, and the same. It's the same smile. It's the same, 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 same old smile. The group enjoyed the night but we were awoken the next day with quite a shock. Outside the TV studios in Panchebo, mm. uh, we just made our television debut. Ah, yeah. oh, sick! On their, on their equivalent of this morning, uh, yeah. I believe. It was great, we, we were all there as well. You know, the people behind the, uh, behind the camera also made their t TV debut as well, Sean and Asim. Yeah, we got to be on there, one second. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> well, yeah, it was great. Talked, Hi, you... Sorry, go. Sorry about that. Um, talked a bit about um, what we were doing here, film-wise. Talked about how we, uh, how it all came about. Talked about um, what we liked about Penchava so, so far, and um, really just got a bit, bit more of a notion about what Quenched and this project's about, really. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, I think it went quite good. We first appearance, put ourselves across quite well, and it's been a really nice stay in this place. Possibly my highlight of the trip so far, I'd yeah. say. Pancho, it's been a really nice place. So, Richard, Judy, if you're listening. And after their moment in the spotlight, the group said goodbye to Pancho and made their way to Exit Festival. I genuinely thought we've actually made it through everything that's happened. We're actually here, and to just enjoy it, enjoy it get what we said we'd come to get. So here we are, we've arrived at Exit Festival 2011, uh, just behind the main stage in the press area as we speak, we've got the passes to get us in. Um, Arcade Fire due any time, so we better make this quick. Yeah, absolutely, everyone's here, like, got a strong day coming ahead, we've got Pulp, Arcade Fire of course, um, Dead Mouse, got other people as well, like, vibes totally great like the whole of uh, Novi Sad is buzzing at the moment and everyone's just ready for um, what should be a great uh, four days really and um, we better hurry this up as Ben says because uh, yeah. Arcade Fire will be on their way and we will be getting thrown okay. out. Uh, so we got there on the first night and I'm thinking this is gonna be awesome you know we're gonna be talking to Jarvis Cocker we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be running running around you know making it happen so we get there on the first night and um, we're not allowed anywhere we're allowed in the fucking Jack Daniels bar with OB off Hollyoaks Ooh. And I just, I just thought, oh, fuck me, I'm just sitting there looking at OB's receding airline and I'm thinking, is this what, is this what we've come for? Is this all we're going to get access to? So we just got our, we just got our vagabond heads on and we just thought, we're going to have to, we're going to have to make this happen. We're going to have to sneak in, we're going to have to be security. But those boys are not fucking around. So, yeah, I've, he's, Danny's last year seen some guy pistol whipped for trying to get past security. So you've got to be careful with those boys. Um, or like I say, I'm going to be spending six years in a cup. And, um, and so we, we, we had a word with Nikki and, and come night two we managed to we managed to get reasonable access it was still just kind of dance VIP which meant you were stood up there with somebody that knew somebody that knew somebody who was on stage a lot of people but if you did enough talking and you, and, you know you could make it you could carve a few openings so we started to get a little bit of headway on the second night yeah and we managed to wrestle a few interviews anyway yeah it's game time we have our photo pass now after the little panic of last night, uh, not being allowed anywhere apart from the Jack Daniels bar. <laughs> um, yeah, we're good to go. We've got the dance VIP area passes. So uh, I think tonight things should be picking up and we should be getting some worthy material tonight to flesh out this documentary. Now I guess it's time for us to uh, get to work. It's such a crazy location, eh? Yeah, it's so great. I, I always yeah. think like every time you go and take a new corner you find something new. Yeah. 
trying to say that I'm exiting myself from uh, dictatorship to some kind of uh, level of uh, freedom where I can fight out outside what entertainment can say. And entertainment simply says that enjoy yourself and remove the person that is against you. And that's, all, that, that's why I'm here. It's all about music, sun, having fun, you know, having sex, getting laid, having drugs and music and sex and drugs and music and so on. And you just feel positive vibrations and all that it gives to you. So who gives a shit? It's kind of freedom and liberation with love, you know, peace and justice in your heart. Beautiful. I'm Jens, I'm from Digitalism, and uh, we just played at Ixon Festival, just what you said. <laughs> absolutely massive set, man, that was absolutely huge. Like, we were stood up on the balcony there, and just looking at the bodies, just bouncing up and down. It was crazy what you guys did out there. Uh, thank you, man. I, need, I, I heard so much stuff about Ixon Festival, and I know everyone's going there, like from all abroad and stuff. And last night we arrived, and it's actually, it turned out to be one of the best festivals in the world. So yeah, good. it's incredible, man. We just, we've been so, so impressed with the, with the fortress, with the structure, and the main stage is kind of the front, but I think the dance stage is the heart of the festival. And this, this, yeah, just, yeah. just looking at the dance stage, it's incredible. There's the atmosphere and everything, and oh, it must have been amazing for you guys to be in such a prominent position. To, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, it was, it was really, really, really good. You know, I think this stage is like, um, it's one of those like ten stages on Earth that are really prominent, you know, like there's so many festivals that are somewhere on a field and then you build up a tent or something and blah blah but this stage is really fucking unique Yeah man, it's incredible it's so, so good Yeah really man, good. so on to next year then eh? It's gonna look good yeah. yeah, chicken, wicked, well cheers, thanks for your time oh, It's quite rewarding considering we're not being granted access anywhere so to actually get that and make it, you know make it a reality. It was nice, it was kind of the last night and uh, I went and gave myself a atrocious hangover for the nasty ass train journey back to Zagreb the next day. And with the festival over, they made their way back to England. It was unbelievable. It was, uh, in my head, going to be some smooth exploit which would have just been something something nice to watch but now this has actually got a bit of grip to it got a bit of a got a bit of anger a bit of passion to it <laughs> it's my first kind of road trip with a few mates where you know at some point someone's getting pissed off and you know when when you start off and it's all happy days and then you get halfway through it and everyone's cramped up trying to sleep and you know, the sat nav's not working and everything else, but every single little thing, I think, every little kink, anything that went wrong, it was all worthwhile. It's all part of the experience. I'd do it again, I'd recommend, I'd recommend to anyone to do it. It's, um, hopefully it's the first of many, we'll see. But it was, uh, it was, it was, it was an adventure. We didn't know what was going to come of it. We just kind of pitched the idea and we just got stuck in. And I think it's the best results when that happens. Hopefully that'll show in the film. But, uh, Freedom! Jesus. And I 
Yeah.